You know, this cage size topic just won't seem to go away. I hear people talking about it. And I, I was kind of trying to learn and go, man, I don't know a damn thing about it. I've never known how big a cage was, how small a cage was. Wouldn't know a big cage from a small cage. Just don't know. And I thought, well, what was I missing? Because other people have made a lot about this. So as I've gone through the progressions of trying to learn what I was wrong about, turns out I was wrong to ever think I was wrong in the first place. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. I've listened to all the arguments. None of them make a damn bit of sense. And sure, size would matter on some scope. I mean, you don't just go fight in the Atlantic Ocean and you don't just go fight in a phone booth, but that's not what we're talking about here. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference. I've seen cage fights since 1993. There's one cage fight I've ever seen where they touched every piece of that ring. Not one. One guy controls the ring. He cuts you off. Some prick announcer gets to make a living by saying, he cut off the ring. He couldn't begin to describe for you what that means, but he loves to throw the turnout. Okay, great. Well, it is true. That's actually a thing. And one of the two guys does it. What, what, what do you need the whole cage for in the first place? The more I have listened to guys arguing cage size, the more I realize they don't have the foggiest idea what they're talking about. It doesn't make a bit of difference. I reflect back to my own career of multiple apparatuses, sometimes fighting in a, in a cage, sometimes fighting in a ring. I know I used to box, but that was always in a ring. Don't know how big it was. Don't have the foggiest idea. When I used to wrestle, sometimes you'd have a full-size mat. I own one. I don't know how big it is. I never once got a tape measure out. I don't know anybody who ever has. When I go to tournaments at a, before when I was younger, they take a full-size mat, they bring tape, turn it into squares. Then you wrestle in the squares. I don't know how big they are. Don't have the foggiest idea. Never got a tape measure. Don't know some weirdo who ever had. What's the difference? You go into the practice room, you have mat space. You don't even have a mat. You have mat space. Well, if 10 guys show up that day, you now have five groups. So you're constantly looking over your shoulders to not run into one of the other groups. And guess what? It works out just fine. Excuse me. There's no more action when there's five groups, two groups, three groups, or it's just you. You now have five times the space. There's not more action. And guess what? There's not less action. You've got to come together. you got to touch each other at some point. If you don't, nothing's happening. So yes, I understand if you want to be philosophical about size and talk about you got a whole state to fight in or you have a phone booth to fight in. I get, but now you're just being silly. I'm annoyed that I have to make a piece and talk about cage size and tell you the difference and tell you, well, this one's going to favor the grappler. This is going to favor the striker. It doesn't make a bit of difference. When the last time you guys ever saw a fight and they used the whole damn ring? Doesn't work that way. Well, this guy likes to use footwork and he likes to run away. Well, how big does he need? Arkansas? What do you mean he likes to move around? How much is he going to move around? And if he doesn't have the ability to move around, that somehow favors his opponent? That's excuse making. That's excuse making before the contest ever starts. Well, this is good for the grappler. Well, this is good for the striker. Oh, it turns out, are you fighting a wrestler or you're fighting a kickboxer? It sounds like you're starting to feather your nest. Look, guys, here, here's the only thing we can for sure deduce in the three weeks that we've had to hear about cage size. The only thing we can deduce is the first one to bring it up, bet against him. 